Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Goddess or Goddess. I'm not sure how exactly it should be pronounced. Probably Goddess, which is what I'm gonna call it from now on until one of you tells me that's wrong. It's a brand new early access beta 1.2 uh, version that is out for about two days now. And the reason why I'm playing this and why I'm even looking at this is that it was created by the developer studio 22 Cans and Peter Molyneux. If you don't know who that guy is, he's the creator of Populous and he is probably one of my most favorite developers in the world. So when I learned that this game exists, for which I am very grateful to Crazy Derp for even mentioning it on my channel, I immediately decided to buy it without even trying it. Yes, this is completely blind, I haven't played this game at all, and we are going to play it now together. Now I noticed when I was just testing it and setting the resolution that there is something uh, here called how to play design notes and feedback. First of all, uh, in the options I noticed that there is, yes, thy name is Alpha Pi Omega. We're gonna set that. Gallus, as the name tells you, is a god game where you are a god to your people. Much like in Populous, which should be, again, it's spiritual uh, father or predecessor. Uh, yeah, we set everything here. So let's see the design notes. Well, here it is. Early Access Beta of Gallus. This is a version 1.2, by the way. First of all, thank you for downloading the game. Our reason for using Early Access is so that we can get as many of you to play the game and for us to run from what you enjoy and hate. In that way, over the coming months, develop Gallus in to a great game that is our passion. Uh, there are many things we have had to disable from early access for the sake of stability. These include later ages like philosophical age and beyond because of bugs, server-based procedural connected words because of server issues, follower forges and industry because of bugs, Twitter integration on named followers <laughs> because of bugs, uh, multiplayer because of bugs, god of gods, dynam dynamic reverse clans and religions. There are also many things that are buggy and battle balance, like AI battle logic, multiplayer balance, card rewards, age subversion. Well, it's an early access beta. What can we expect? We are continuing to work very hard and hope to have an update out as soon as possible. Thank you for your belief and patience. We would like your feedback through uh, support.22cans.com or if you want a multiplayer game invite, Peter Molyneux. Thank you, Peter Molyneux. Now, yeah, that's the design notes and how do you play? Collect cards to unlock features, fill the level up bar, finding shrines or chest or finding, uh, fighting battles. Click and drag on the edges of the line to sculpt it, discuss belief, clear a space of flat land to create building plots for your followers. Your followers will build abodes on empty plots. Followers breed in abodes. Flags show when an abode is full. Click on the flag to send them out into the world. Follower in abodes generate belief for you to collect, fueling your ability to wield your god powers. Remember the game saves automatically and continues from where you stopped. Okay. Aha! Spirituality! Faith card! Your followers have moved from the wilderness and have started to believe in a higher power. This book contains the history of your people. It starts with two lonely souls in the wilderness and ends with the conquest of space. To advance your people, you will need to collect advance cards. Without advance cards, your civilization will not be able to progress. Advanced cards can sometimes be made up of element cards found in the world. In this first age, your advance will be gained through increasing your population. Good luck. So we are in uh, the primitive age, in the establishment period. Period. 
primitive age of the Bosporani people. At the start of the primitive age, the followers have moved from the wilderness and started to come together to live in permanent abodes. By using basic tools, forming simple communities and expanding their population, the followers become even more advanced. So, the second one, society, then science and faith. And then collections. Okay. I guess this is how to close the book. Yes. And this is how to open the book. Okay, now what are we supposed to do? Can I turn the camera? Wait, the controls. That's quite important. I'm playing again as I said completely blind. Or maybe I didn't say that. Rotate by shift plus A, shift plus D. That's a bit weird, but okay, why not? It probably has a sense. Okay, click and drag to do something. Okay, that probably helped them. Yeah, they're already building their first house. Look at them, they're building. Ah, uh, I guess I can only... Ah, now I see. I can only do things in this circle. That's probably my fave circle. A new card, isn't it? Land expansion, God card. As more followers believe in you, your influence across the land will grow. It's a number five card. Uh, yeah. Definitely grow. No, 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 no. Let's make it nice and clean here. We are sculpting the land for our people. Okay, now this should be full, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are coming. Let's make it nice and round. Oh, that's not at all what I was going for, but okay. Stop resisting me, land. Do what I command you to. Okay, <laughs> enough. Uh, what is this? It's Faith. Hey, it's Faith. No, I did it so nice. Oh god, this is weird. I want you to be all shapey. And we got another god card. Land expansion. Oh, we already had that one. More faith. Okay, we now have much more land to play on. Okay, I want it to be not all nice and shapey. Like so. Let's make them a bit more space so they can expand on. Oh, 
Oh, I see. We're exhausting faith by doing this. That's logical. So this is our faithful meter. And uh, we're getting rid of it by doing stuff like this. By wasting our god power. Give me all your faithy power. Okay, you too. Yo. So when there's a flag, there are probably Yo. too many of them. So when we send them out, they will grow home. Wow, this place is huge. Okay, we now have four houses. Um, can we maybe get rid of these? And there's another one. Nice. Get out of here, land. This will be a place of my village. No, 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 no. I didn't want to do that at all. Yay, more houses. So I guess the first thing we have to do is increase our population. Why are you insisting on entering my village land I already told you you will be this way okay more faith more faith more people more people smart sculpting double clicking left and right mouse button will push in the larger areas of land double clicking No, 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 no. Oh, I see. That is a bit easier. Okay. okay, destroying things makes them like me, so let's destroy stuff. No, I would like it if they had some, you know... Some nature around them. I don't want to destroy everything. Can I? No, I can't. I have to wait for them to develop things. Give me faith. Yeah, we exhausted a lot of our faith. 68, that's probably an all-time low let's just wait a while or make them believe in our cuddly powers like so man these are like bunnies felt tents society cards Larger abodes can house more of your population and generate more belief. Okay. Oh, there's a chest here. Felt. Resource card. Ha! Huh. Okay, so then there are bonus cards that we need to unlock. Felt tents. Effect. Rank to abode type. Unlocked attribute capacity 5 max with 120 birth rate plus 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 belief rate plus plus leads to construction description early hunter gatherers needed temporary shelters that protected them against the elements and allowed them to leave the confines of caves the felt formed a very tough protective barrier around a wooden frame 
this strength meant bigger tents could be built. The most well known type of felt tent is a yurt, a large circular tent traditionally used by nomads of Central Asia in early 1000 BC. Okay! We have felt tents. Yes, we are advancing. But we have none. <laughs> get out of there. Can okay, we need more space? Do I get it right? Seems like we don't have enough place to put them. More faith for us. Yeah, they're just casually strolling around, not knowing what to do. So let's make them a bit more space. Land expansion. And they seem tired. Let's... I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Okay, one more spot for you to work on. And... Maybe now one more? Yeah. I'm a good god. I'm gonna help you. We need more space. Well, that's what civilization is all about, isn't it? More space for everyone. Faith! Yeah. Yeah. On the chest! We found another chest. Timber resource card. So now we pretty much have to expand, that's all that we can do, which I'm okay with. Our village needs more people. Is there a way to see how many people we have? Uh, no, this is just the book. This doesn't show anything. Okay, never mind. Get out there. Populate the land. Okay, I'm gonna leave this, because I like that. Deactivate totem, place totem, settlement. Sculpt that. Quick and drag the edges of plateau to push and pull the land. Scott's belief unlocked in... Yeah, primitive age. Okay, we know what that is. Construction science card. We need okay, three timber cards, and I'm not sure what this one is. That's something different. So, where is the chest at? Okay, there's one. Another timber resource. Okay, we have two out of three. And there will be another one somewhere soon or at least I hope so okay I don't see any here anymore so it has to be somewhere else get out there 